the stakes have changed. The motivation has changed. The reason I'm doing this, it's all changed. I mean, it's so wild looking back at that stuff. This is where we used to skip school and snowboard. We'd hike up. This is like my happy place. When I, when I come home, I listen to music and just walk along the top. Just silence. I think that's the thing I miss most about Alaska is just silence. We are here in Kinnick, Alaska. Uh, I grew up out here. We'd come out for the dog sled races for the Kinnick 200. We shot a, a ton of our music videos out here. These two trees, the way they were bent, it just, it looked like a sound stage. I, I sent it to a buddy and he was like, where did you, sh where did you shoot this? It's like literally my dad's backyard. Last time I came down from the tree shooting that video, it was all adrenaline. I was sitting up there and I was like, whoa, like I, like I have no strength left. And I was at the top. I was like, please make it to the bottom. Please make it to the bottom. <laughs> Dad and bro, here they come. He's making it work. Throw it in there. Throw it in the back of the truck. Donnie was the best roofer, and when he started playing music, we lost our best roofer. I think we just kind of always knew that we wanted to like travel and see things, and it was kind of my, my push. That was, that was my like, Okay, I'm gonna leave Alaska, and then we're just gonna keep going. I mean, we left. We left two months before our tour started. We had no money at the time, so like, I remember seeing there was a deal for two Whoppers for a dollar. We scrounged around in gutters. To me, that's like the most creative period of the band. It's like, you have nothing. So we, we like the struggle. We like sleeping in vans and eating rice at rest stops and and it feels, it feels good to look back on the journey that we've done. And the Grammy goes to Portugal, the man. Thank you so much. I'm just so gracious of everything that came along with that song. And it was, it was like this really stressful period for the band, um, just having that crossover success. And it, I mean, it was legit, like, all day long. Fresh off winning a Grammy, our next guest is Portugal the Man. Wow, now to the greatest band in the world. You would wake up in the morning, you'd go to do press, you'd bounce around, you'd play five soundcheck parties, and they become less of, like, soundcheck parties and more of just, like, five extra shows in the day. And it was so fun. I mean, it just like, it was so new for us. Like, we're just doing this. I didn't even realize until the end of it, the last show we played was up here in Alaska. And the last show, I just broke down in tears. Emotionally, we took on so much. We had a really great time making music together. And then, pandemic. And yeah, there's just been this moment of searching for identity. And I think just priorities shifted. Just became about a family. It became more about just reconnecting with each other. I love you, big friend. I love my mom. We had just found out um, that Francis has this uh, very rare genetic disease. Um, she's one of six kids with her specific disease. It's really intense. I mean, it, it really like 
It makes you think about how fragile we all are. Heavy games, can't take this back, cause the present has a past. And this album is exactly what I'm, I'm feeling and what I wanted to make. And <laughs> Frances is on a couple songs. So she sings on Times of Fantasy. She must have felt some like spiritual connection to this song because it's so slow and it's so emotional. But Frances would hear it and she loved singing that I got a feeling it's gonna be just fine. And so like she's singing at the end, oh my God, I'm gonna try not to cry right now. Things are gonna be just fine. This album was really an introspective one for me personally. We're stepping out without our friend Chris. Chris was just this glue with all of our friends. I think the thing I, I, I miss the most is the way he held that friend group together. On tour, it was it was really needed at that point. And, and him and seeing was just, it, was, it just happened. It was so natural. He was at a show with us. We were playing like an in-store event in Seattle and he was just there DJing. And while we were playing, he picked up the mic and he just started going, Wow, can you believe it? We're all here together. We're seeing this together. Oh my God, I can't believe it. And it was just so fun. It is our best album. Cause this has been a thing that I've been searching for forever. Like I love Motown. Like I love that like people write songs like with no fat whatsoever. It is these really tight, concise ideas. Like, can you tell a story in a sentence? Like, I love that. Hey, this is like Northern Soul. Like, that's what this record represents to me. Bring your friend, like, let's dance on stage and let's have fun in honor of this ridiculous spirit of Francis and Chris.